Hey, my I'm from Tunisia. Um, I'm an, mainly an activist um, for freedom of speech in Tunisia. And uh, during the last day of the revolution, I was sleeping at my home. That was January 14. <laughs> it was uh, very important because we didn't have any working um, old media at that time. You know, TV, uh, radio, didn't talk about what was happening inside Tunisia. So citizen journalism it was very important. Uh, people started uh, filming um, uprisings in Sidi Bouzid with um, phone cameras, camera phones, and putting this stuff on the internet and social networks. And that's how uh, the information spread. Uh, that's how the revolution spread around Tunisia because people not only watched uh, the videos on social networks that were uh, uploaded, but they, they, there is something really interesting in, in the videos that were uploaded. You could see other people uh, uh, filming using their cell phones. So at the same time, it spread um, the the revolution. I mean the the demonstrations in the street because people demonstrated in support for what was happening in Sidi Bouzid in other towns and also provided a tutorial on how to do it at the same time. I think the next step is um, to succeed in the next election. So succeeding would mean that we would have um, a constituent assembly uh, which is really representative of Tunisian people. I mean, um, colorful with a lot of young people and also representative of the revolution. Very difficult work and I, I, I stayed four months in the government and I don't understood the slippery slope uh, 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 where and uh, the, the, um, uh, the way you, uh, you, you get disconnected as a politician from the people. It's because you get so much criticism at that it's unbearable. So you stop listening to the people and uh, you, you, you start living in a bubble uh, without knowing what's happening outside you. And that's one of the problems of the representative democracy, like uh, the, the, the representative type of governance we have today. Mm -hmm. And I think that we should be able to have a better model for governance.